Can you tell me a, tell me a funny Jackie story? Funny Jackie story? No, uh, let's see. I could tell you about how we met. But, uh, I think you've heard that story already. No, but it's not not been documented. <laughs> I can tell it. Okay. Uh, uh, we were at church, and, uh, and uh, going to confession, and I heard the priest say, you what? And I knew right then that was the girl for me. So. <laughs> and then after we got out of church, she had these real tight jeans on, and, and uh, I says, how do you get into those jeans? So says, well, you start by buying me dinner and a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Always a little sassy, huh? And I could tell her tight because she had a uh, dime and a quarter in her back pocket. And the year on the dime was 1957. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to kill me for this. <laughs> A Jackie story. Funny story about mom. One thing I've always been amazed about mom is that all of her kids, you combine the weight of her six kids, we're looking at what, 1,500 pounds? She can boss around 1,500 pounds of beef with a little tug of hair behind the neck. She does it constantly, she does it all the time, she still does it today. It's amazing. But mom, we love you very much. Can you tell me a story about your mom? Oh, Jesus, so many stories about her. You already heard the bun one, right? I haven't heard any stories yet. No, this is the first one? Oh. It was at a wedding up north. I can't remember whose wedding it was, but we were at a table. And this goes down as the famous bun incident. And every time we get together and somebody says, pass a bun, everybody looks at mom. It was, I think it was Polly asked for a bun. And mom grabbed a bun off of the off the table, off the basket, and threw it. Hit the guy across from Polly on the top of the head, and they all went down to eat real quick. And, and everybody looked down, and the guy looks up and he's looking around, and everybody was laughing, and he didn't know why. But that's. So did you kids tell that story all the way home in the car? Oh, we tell it every year since it happened. Cool. But yeah, she just starts throwing buns at people. <laughs> When I was growing up, the yeah, memory that I have is that if I was sick or if I had to go to the doctor or something, that she would take me to Taco Bell for lunch and we'd, uh, I'd be able to have a, a spicy burrito and she thought that it was the spices in the Mexican food that would help me fight the cold. So uh, that's my anecdote from me. And, and is that why you still like spicy food? Yes, it is. <laughs> cool. One time, when I was living in New York, my mom and I drove to Duluth to visit the Ledoux. We were driving home, and there were all of these really beautiful wildflowers on the side of the road. And so every so often, we would just stop and pick some. I have pictures of them somewhere. We came home with these beautiful bouquets, and we were showing them to someone, and they said, you know, that's actually illegal to pick those flowers. And I have a sneaking suspicion that my mom knew this at the time that we were picking them. But, as she always says, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than to gain permission. That's my funny story. Probably the story, I think I was 13 or 14 and we were at somebody's wedding up north, I can't remember whose it was, at the uh, Pleasic's Tavern was the reception, and I was going around emptying everybody's drink in, in my mouth. <laughs> so I got a little bit drunk, and I was all throwing up in the parking lot, and my mom called me. Well, she sent someone in to get Dad, and Dad says, well, what do you want me to do about it? And she said, well, kick his ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> But uh, I learned my lesson, and now I don't do that anymore. And, uh, but uh, happy birthday, Mom, to the most young and most beautiful 70-year-old I've ever known. So, the anecdote is high school basketball. 
Yeah. Mom looks sweet and innocent, doesn't she? But <laughs> as, as, as example by by the uh, by the flash cut. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if that's a word. Anyway, back to the anecdote. Um, high school basketball. Mom's got a referee doll, and and she decides that every time he makes a bad call, which is any call that he makes, she's gonna rip off a limb. And within the first half, the referee has no more limbs. And the, the head is also gone. And uh, that's my anecdote. The okay. fact that sweet little mom had a referee doll at my high school basketball games. Joe and I have six great kids and six great uh, daughter-in-laws and one son-in-law and just the most fantastic grandchildren in the world. And that's no brag, just that. Okay. Well, I should tell them about how we met. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but why would the why would the grandkids want to know that Grandma and Grandpa met in an 18-year-old bar? <laughs> that isn't the story I told. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mine is a true story.